Good afternoon. It's the last day of August, so are in the month from midnight. Now then, we are in the village of East Bailey, just outside Bradford. We've been to see Mother, and I thought I'd just do a short video now, walking on to Low Moor, because I've not walked this way before. I usually walked uh, a different way around. Been to Blue Hills Farm Shop for lunch earlier, had a full English, very nice, highly recommended. And um, anyway, I'll switch cameras now. I'm going to take the sixth path on the left. Right, so that's looking, the 283 bus comes round here. So there's some roadworks just here, which is a bit awkward. But uh, anyway, we're going to go down this path now here on the left and uh, head for Lomo train station. Just look at this for a view. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, last day of August today, 31st. So, yeah, we'll both eat shellfish again from tomorrow. Or whatever it is, potatoes. All your things, all your winter foods, soups and stews. It's also starting to feel a bit cold now, actually, compared to what it was a month or so back. Right, we just come over the stile just there. And all that. it was a bit involved getting through them trees further back. Anyway, down here now. And left. The road goes right and straight ahead. There's not much of a road straight to the, to the right, to the left rather. So that's where, that's the main road where that car's just done now. So, oh, it's another farm shop or something, is this, isn't it? Because it said customer parking. And it says footpath as well. So that's what we've just done. Anyway, we're going down onto the left now, down here, onto another path. It says dead end. But uh, that's only for road vehicles. So let's go down this way. Now then, I don't know if you can see it in the distance or not, but you can, I'll zoom it in. There is the remains of a railway line there. And that is part of the old Dudley Hill Low Moor line. Behind the trees there. We'll come to that a bit um, further on, a bit later. So you'll see more of that a bit later. Okay. It wasn't so easy getting through the trees there where that house was, because it looked like it just went to nowhere, the path. Very deliberately unsigned, not very easy to get through, because obviously the landowners there, people that live there, don't like people walking through. But it's tough shit. Get used to it. Right, we did get a bit lost there on those mounds. But anyway, we're all right. We've managed to get sorted. And we're coming up now to the old Dudley Lomo line. We are. This would have been a great diversion. Very easy diversion. If anything was to happen between Bradford and Lomo, they could just come around this way. But no one thinks logically, does they? Because it closed at least to passengers, oh, years ago to this line. I think freight soon followed, it did. Even the bridge span's gone there. And let's keep going. We might get that Grand Central where we might not. Oh, flaming hell. Oh, it's up here. Must be. No other way. Right, just come out of, uh, Spenview Lane. The bridge there is for the old railway again, and this is Boy Lane. So go down here, turn left. I used to come down here quite often when I had a car before I moved to Leeds. Just uh, using it as access to M606, which you can do if you go left, where that truck's just come. There's a big industrial estate, Euro Way Trading Estate, I think it is. Right, we're going straight ahead, not the main road, where that guy's coming up now, we're going down there. Because I think that is an old alignment of this road, straight ahead. Oh, some horses. So yeah, I think that's just, I think it might be, but this could be a, before the industrial estate was built, I bet this was the original alignment of this road. Right, that's the uh, path we just come out of, and this is the other, road access so we're going down here now when we can this is all part of the Euroway trading estate 
And this is the only intermediate junction on the M606 just up ahead now. Can't really tell at the moment here, but we're actually on the track bed now of the uh, the old railway. Lowmore Dudley Hill. Lowmore's ahead of us now, Dudley Hill's behind us. So this is the former railway. There's no motorway here, no industrial roads at that time. We want, there's a lot of blackberries about here. Look at all that lot. I wouldn't want to pick them though, close, like so close to a motorway in the main road. Could be tarnished. So that's the slip road coming from Bradford. Okay, then that's the way to get on it at this side. There's another set of slip roads at the other side, as you might know. But only one of them actually links onto the motorway. And that's the one from the left. Because it's a strange junction is this, with not having a roundabout, it's just a road in the middle. It is. So it says no entry there, that's the um, exit from the M62 way. Now where these vehicles are turning right here, that is Stath Gate Lane. And that goes directly to the top roundabout, it doesn't actually link on to the M606. A lot of traffic in the morning peak quite often comes off there, down here, and then goes straight up there to dodge the queue at the top of the M606. I know, because I've done it myself in the past. Right, it's little site says there, low more train station. Can't just see it, but anyway, this is where we're going to head now. Down here and over this footbridge. Afternoon all. He walked from Lowmore. Yeah. yeah, I'm walking to Lowmore. See it on. Right up there. The railway line's right here. In fact, you could actually walk down there. There's a train coming. To a new one. Sounds like yeah, it is. Manchester Vic. Right anyway, let's get over the footbridge. Bridge is very old. I think this is all what was Lowmore Shed around here at one time, and obviously branching off there. Yeah, down that'll be where the junction would be down there, roughly. Is the line to Lowmore, which went underneath uh, to Dudley Hill, where the motorway is. That's looking to Brad. Bowling tunnels are just around the corner. Anyway, let's get down to the left now, down here, and straight onto the station. Let's look how old this this part of the bridge is here. It's incredible, isn't it? That's fairly new, is that, or modified. That looks original. Right, it's down this way. I don't think we can get this wrong now. Must be down here. I have got the drone with me, but I must be able to use it. It was a little bit wet early, a bit windy, so... And we haven't really got time now. Northbound train going past. No idea what that is. Right. This is where I expected coming. So we just come down the path there where the lads are. And uh, just walking down here to the train station. So on the right side now to, to get in. I've just realised if we walk the other side of the railway line, it would have been... Uh, I, it would have been a bit easier to have done that actually because we want to be on the upside and on the downside at the minute. But you can't get from the road bridge to the platform down that way, which is really annoying. So we've got to go this way. But I must admit, you can from the Spen Valley Greenway. There are some steps into it, but it doesn't matter. We've still got a few minutes to kill before we uh, get in. So here we are, Low Moor, 
I'll stop view ranger. Just almost is it's actually outdoor active I'm using this time. With them combining, I've decided to use outdoor active on this walk. It's not as good, I don't think, but anyway. I'll just keep it going so we actually get right onto the platform. King's Cross next one 14. 56, so I've only got it with about five minutes to spare. Not much over. I thought we were gonna be pushing it for this when we got stuck around East Bailey, tough shore bottoms. But we managed it. So that's the platform for Bradford and Leeds and whatever. We want this side for Halifax, Brighouse, Manchester, Vic, Blackpool, and London King's Cross. So yeah, you can actually get from the, I could have come down there, but I must have didn't realize, I was thinking it actually linked straight onto the bridge up there, but never mind, it's fine, it's fine. We're here now. I think our train is approaching. It certainly is. Right, let's go on this one. Not sure where we're gonna get off yet at the moment. If I actually straight back home, get off at Murphy and whatever, but we might have a little ride on to Pontefract or even Doncaster. We'll see, we'll see. second side of the triangles there which is the drive of Milleroyd which is the only side that had services on originally until this line was reopened and Brighouse and all that so you'll see two narrow tunnels very shortly Salter Hevel with this being lower down the built tunnels that you see for this it's like 91 yards just a bit higher up now but it's amazing how much land how much height we've lost in just this short bit of distance here so it is quite steep is this it's 41 in 45 at its steepest and it required bankers in the steam age of the colder that's the first time <clears throat> so I think we cross it nine times in total so we're now joining the main line from Ebden Bridge and Manchester Vic this is Greetland Junction Now on the main line now. So 
across the River Colbert again twice here just before Ellen Tunnel, I think. That's the River Calder again there. So that's three times we've crossed it now. Approaching Brig House now. This is where the old Brig House station was now, this side of uh, the bridges. That's the current station, although the new one, the current, this one now is actually slightly further to the east. It's not much though, in that a yard. There's a few people getting on. Yeah, quite a lot. On the opposite side, of course. Look at the flowers though, they're beautiful. For Brig House in bloom. Just left Brighouse now, gone on the motorway, and this is Bradley Wood Junction, where the single line branch round to Huddersfield, Bradley Wood Curve. That is that. It's amazing how shiny it is now after being disused for so long. But this was never disused, it was like a freight, not so much freight only, but uh, it was available to all traffic, but with no through book services uh, years ago in the sort of 70s and 80s. You only had, uh, only really use it for diversions. It was never defined freight only because obviously if you do that it makes it more difficult to divert a passenger train over it at short notice. So we're crossing the River Calder again here, I think. I think that's it there. That's now four times we've crossed the River Calder. Oh, is that the River Calder? I think it's the Cold, is that actually? Coming up to Heath Lodge Junction now, this is the line from Huddersfield, the, third, the second side of the triangle, we're on the main line. So there's a dive under which is a down alignment just down there, and the upper alignment is up the far side over there. five times now, we did it just after Bradley Wood Junction and we did it just before Heath Lodge Junction. So that's five times now we've crossed the River Calder. And I think it's going to be six very shortly up here now, just before we get to Murfield. So yes, this is now six times crossing the River Calder, there we are. is very low now so I'm not so sure how long we've got to go with it. Trans Pennine for Manchester Piccadilly, X Hall. And there's more passengers. Good grief, look at all this lot here, my word. This is incredible. Murfield East Junction crossing over to the bi-directional and we've just crossed the River Calder again just before we got here which I missed so that's uh, six times now crossing the Calder was it seven? After this again I think kill us out Now 
Thornhill LNW Junction, that's over there. This wasn't actually intended. I thought this was lead service, so with a slight mistake. Anyway, let's get the Liverpool train now and get out straight over to Leeds and home. Right, as I say, I made it to York. I didn't intend. I thought that was a lead service at uh, that. Uh, so we're just coming back yonder at Doncaster. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll get the next one now back to Leeds direct cost it, uh, to Leeds the Liverpool service and hopefully we we'll get the cost they want at Leeds. Okay. Well, the back is just about out, so we'll keep it going to actually finish us. Right, Liverpool train is behind this one, and this goes to Leeds, so we'll go on this Totnes one. It should be going to Plymouth, obviously, but there's been some incident past Totnes, so that's as far as it's going. So we'll jump on this one, stop to Leeds, and then uh, it'll be better, it'll be quicker to get the Northern Cotton one. 